Hi, Jerry Albright, National Platform Tennis Champion. Today in our one minute clinic, part two of staying in the corner. People are not staying in there and they keep leaving, so I need to do another one. Here we go. So today I'm working with Dan Hansen, a top 20 player in the country as a doubles team. And we're working on the backcourt positioning. Two disadvantages of this are, yes, you are gonna get more forehands, but some balls are gonna be dying in the corner on you that you're not gonna get. Those soft side screens are now gonna be dying in, into this corner. The other one that people are gonna use is when they start standing here, Dan's gonna aim for this first post. And what happens is they have to get out of the way and then they can't catch up to the back side or just the soft back even. So when they're here and then it runs away. If they were in the corner position, like I say, now when Dan shoots for these screens, this ball is now moving towards them and they're using a backhand, yes, but the ball, when it hits the screen at the angle, it's coming towards them, coming towards me, instead of this move of coming over here and having it run away from them. We would much rather a ball coming towards us instead of away from us after the screen. And I'm finding more and more people that I'm working with, when I tell them to get into their corner, they think it's like they're getting punished to go to the corner. But it's a better place to defend your screen and you can still defend the middle. I'm finding more and more of the people are standing here. And when these overheads are coming at them fairly hard, I'm finding, hey, you should have screened it. Hey, you should have screened that one. Hey, you should have screened that one. But their body is here. And so they're doing a lot of blocks that I feel should be screened, but they're like, well, it's at me, so I'm not screening it. If they lined up where I like them, which be these are extensions of the single sideline and double sideline, I would much rather their left foot anywhere in between this area when they're defending their corner. And the reason they're doing it is they're so much more comfortable with their forehand block. But you're going to have to get better because a good team is going to make you do backhand lobs no matter where you go. Because people always say, shouldn't the forehand get the middle ball? But at some point, where is it your backhand? At some point, it's going to be your responsibility. So if you're standing here, you're going to have to use a backhand here. If you're standing here, yes, you will get more backhands that you're going to have to defend but you're just gonna have to get good at this. And there's a couple specific shots you're going to have to get good at. The backhand block from here and the backhand screen from here. These are very important shots to work on. When you're standing over here, you're just doing forehands, just doing forehands. And then the ball goes where? When you're here, it goes in there and you don't get it because you left your corner open. So defend that corner better by being here. So if the alley extended, I really like the left foot for the righties to be there on single sideline or the double sideline. But don't get too far over because now when that ball come, does come hard, you're not gonna be able to get out of that corner. This position allows you some leeway of Dan go anywhere now, of me making judgments of I'm going to let that come around. I'm going to leave and do a two screen. I'm going to do a deck block. And whatever he gives me from this corner, that would be a one screen there. This would be a two screen. I'm making decisions off the deck block. No screen. Make my move back to the position. One screen, the ball comes into me. Hard two screen comes around to me. If you notice, as he's picking on me, I'm not really leaving this area too much here. That's a one screen. That's a deck. That's a one screen. If he's going soft back, I'm gonna make the move of 
I'm going to use my backhand block. I'm going to use my backhand screen. I'm going to use my backhand deck. I'm going to use my backhand deck. I'm going to use my backhand screen. So all these overheads are coming because he's hitting them on the cross court angle. The ball is coming to me. Now, again, the issue is when we let this ball go screen, it gets too far away from us. So when Dan's doing the overhead, if I'm in my corner, I can do two screen. One screen coming to me. I'm gonna hit a four and winner. Time's up. Thank you so much for watching the video. And please do me a favor and subscribe and ring the bell. And my promise to you before I go is if you watch all these one minute clinics, you too can become a national champion. Well, maybe. <laughs>